before I begin my predictions for AEW All Out, I just want to say my thoughts of prayers to the Bullet, to Bullet Bob Armstrong and his family. Um, Bullet Bob passed away a number of days ago. Real tragic because he left a very big impact on wrestling. And if any of you have any, you know, clips or any matches that you've seen Bob in, please let me know so I can check them out. So we can remember his uh, memory. And hopefully his uh, his sons, um, I believe Brad and uh, Bro Dog, can uh, carry on his legacy. So, with that in mind, what's going on guys? Boston Face 6 here. I'm back at you with another video. And today I'm doing my AEW All Out Predictions 2020. This is going to be a good show. This is my second time recording because... Uh, I had too much data on my phone. I had to delete that. So, apologies about that. This is going to be good. Eight match card. I am looking forward to it. So, without wasting any time, let's just go into the pre-show, which kind of makes me pissed a little bit, but I digress. Britt Baker versus uh, Big Swole. Tooth and nail. Haha. <laughs> Get it, tooth. Is Britt Baker is a dentist. What? I never noticed. Anyway, me being an ass aside, I think Swole's going to win. I like Big Swole. I actually love Britt Baker. Swole went through a lot, you know, trying to get past all of um, Baker's goonies. Uh, ooh, Baker's dozens. Mmm, Baker's goodies. Baker's goodies. Goodies? Let's go with that. I don't know what I'm on about. Let's just talk about this. Yeah, Swole's going to win. If Britt wins, it will be via shenanigans. I have Swole winning. Um, next we have Broken Rules match, which is the last man standing match. If Hardy loses, he must leave AEW. It's Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara. They had the tables match. Sammy won and then, you know, set up this match. Sammy's going to lose. If Sammy wins and Hardy goes to his uh, family, you know, or impossibly retire because Hardy put his body through a lot if you look back at those TLC matches, good God, how are both men walking, him and Jeff both walking at this point? Most likely Jeff, but I digress. I think Matt's going to win. If he stays for maybe another few months, maybe. Um, that would be, you know, interesting. But I have a uh, hearty one. Next up, we have uh, the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, versus Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. And Bucks are going to win. I mean, there's no way there's no way around it. Uh, nothing against uh, Jungle Express. You know, Lucha Boy. Or Lucha Boy, yeah, Lucha Boy. And Jungle Saurus. Lucha Boy and Jungle Saurus. <laughs> Jungle Boy and Lucha Saurus. Nothing against those two. Jungle Boy, he will lose very young. And he can, you know, gather up his wins. Lucha Saurus... I think his name was, uh, I think, Vo Vibro, or Vibora, I think, in uh, Lucha Underground. <laughs> Very good big man. You know, that sort of gimmick, and it's a little, it's a little cheesy, a little goofy, but, I mean, hey, it's a giant, it's a, it's a dinosaur. What do you expect? So, I have Bucks winning. Next up, we have the Dork Order, as one Jim Cornette would say. Uh, TNT Champion, Birdie Lee, Cocabana. Evil Uno and Stu Don't Call Me Dick Grayson versus not Zack Ryder, Matt Cordano, Scorpio Sky, and the Natural Nightmare, Dustin Rose, and QT Marshall. Dark Order is going to win. It's gonna, they're going to pin Marshall. I don't like the gimmick. I don't hate the people. It's just, I don't know. I have Marshall winning. Next up, we have the Casino Battle Royal, 21 man. Winner receives future world title match. So far, uh, participants. Lance Archer, Darby Allen, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, Pentagon Jr., Ray, Ray Phoenix, Phoenix, I Can't Speak, uh, the Lucha Bros, Butcher and the Blade, Eddie Kingston, Promo of the Year, that guy can talk, Sean Spears, Austin and Billy Gunn, Jake Hager, Santana Ortiz, and Best Friends Chuck Taylor, and uh, Trent, and former participants have yet to be confirmed, and this computer is shutting off on me. I'm not going to say who's going to... 
I'm not going to predict who's going to win because I'm going to save that for the um, my prediction for my who I'm going to think is going to win the world title. So I'm just going to leave it at this for now. Then we have who Carl Sheeter versus Thunder Rosa for the world title for the women's championship. Fifteen minutes they'll put on the show of the year. I like Thunder Rosa. I saw her work in uh, Lucha Underground as Cobra Moon. I loved her, and I watched herself in uh, NWA. Her and uh, Ali, Allison K put on a show stealer. I think it was, um, I, I think it was Into the Fire, but I can't, I can't remember. Um, yeah, those two. Hikaru Shida, it's Hikaru Shida. Who, what do you expect? I have Shida winning. If Rosa wins, maybe Shida can go to uh, NWA and take the NWA title off of or NWA Women's uh, title off of Rosa. I have Ashita winning. Then we have uh, Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page versus FTR, Cash Dealer, and Dax Harwood with Dolly Blanchard. Tag titles. Have FTR winning. Page is going to turn on Omega. Now people say that Omega is going to turn on Page and join FTR. And now, maybe the Buckshot Lariat would go for maybe, I don't know, Dax, and Pedro hit Omega, and, or maybe some miscommunication, and maybe, and Paige is going to join FTR. Next up, <laughs> we have, um, L, <laughs> God, Chris Jericho versus Orange Cassidy in, in the Mo Mimosa Mayhem match. When uh, match could be one pinfall submission or throw your opponent to the tank of mimosa. <sighs> Jericho has damaged his career both inside and outside the ring. And mostly outside the ring. I'm having Cassidy win even though I don't care about the gimmick. I have nothing against the guy the gimmick. I just don't I just don't find it enjoying. Then we have the world title match. Moxley vs. MJF for Warlow. Moxley is banned from using the Paradigm Shift. World title. If MJF wins, then Darby's going to win the, the Casino Battle Royal. If Moxley wins, then Archer's going to win the, uh, the uh, Battle Royal. They kind of paint themselves into a corner. Because if Moxley wins and Darby wins, then it's going to be face vs. face dynamic and that's not going to work. So, I'm going to have, if MJF wins, it's going to be Darby Allen, and if Moxley wins, it's going to be Archer. Ultimately, Moxley's going to retain, and Archer's going to win the Battle Royal. So, we'll see what happens. This could be a very good show. Probably show of the year. Possibly. So, those are my predictions for uh, AEW All Out 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, quick little thing. I have deleted some videos because they have been frozen for some reason. So, I'm going to check my... Um, Check my videos, see if they are working, if they are frozen, let me know, and I'll probably re-upload them. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, wear your mask, or Corona's gonna kick your ass. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.